Another benefit of having a smart home is that you can create a security system that works for you, your home, your budget, and of course your family. If you watch my video about the 7 things you need to know before starting a smart home in 2022, you know that I gone through my list of the most important thing you need to focus on based on my experience to save money and time. If you haven't watched that, click the card right here. And in that video, I mentioned security which is one aspect in a smart home that is commonly overlooked. But today, we will go over my DIY smart home security system and how this might benefit you as well if you're thinking of starting one. Hi, this is Art again from Futex Later. And again today, we will talk about how I build a DIY security system from scratch. No matter how small or big a home can be, there are people out there who's just waiting for the right moment to strike. And of course, no one wants to be the victim, right? No one is really safe even if we are already in the comfort of our home. So I will break this video into 5 parts. Devices, Installation, Setup, Automation, and last is maintenance. And I will leave a timestamp below so you can freely skip around. But just a heads up, there are companies who can install all the devices required and monitor your property either your home or away. But since we are talking about DIY, my main goal is to keep the cost low. Basically it's a self-monitoring system that means when a break-in happens, no authorities will be dispatched just in case. I'm just hoping that when the system was triggered and the siren goes off, it will discourage anyone who's trying to do something. You can only achieve this if you have the right devices. Just a disclaimer, all devices that I'll be showing in this video are sent to us for free. But you can buy them from most online or local retailers like Amazon. This DIY security system will not be possible if not with the help of our friends from Makara. Thank you for sending all these devices for review. So what I got here to set up everything are contact sensors, motion sensors, a vibration sensor, a siren, an IP camera, a wireless switch, and a smart switch or bulb. You actually don't need everything I got in here. Especially other brands don't have the same lineup of devices that you can use in one app like one from Akara. Personally, you can get away with it with just contact sensor, a motion sensor, a smart button, and a siren or any speaker that can sound an alarm. If you don't have any smart siren that works with whatever system you're using, you can get this cheap siren from Amazon that can play a sound when turned on. Since we're using Akara, Everything I got in here is available in the description below if you want to get one for yourself. Now let's talk about the installation. Most of these sensors have 3M sticky tape at the back so you can place them basically anywhere. You can stick this to the locations that you think will make sense. As far as I'm concerned, for contact sensors, do place them on doors or windows that you have limited access to or to those places that you think are prone from break-ins. Like those windows that have limited lighting from the outside like the kitchen window maybe. And for doors, maybe the back door. Every home has a different configuration. Just make sure to pay attention to those areas that you think are prone and accessible from someone from the outside. And for motion sensors, basically like the contact sensor, place them in areas that you think make sense. Only thing I want to add are the common areas that have a wide space in them like hallways, living room, the kitchen, and maybe dining room. In that way, before they get into your rooms, alarm is already triggered. Motion sensors can be stuck to walls or simply place them on surfaces like TV stands or bookshelves. Make sure that you're placing them in locations that are discreet. And for my siren, I'm using the Akara M1S Hub. You can watch this video that I created about this hub to get a better idea of what the device does so well. You just need to plug this in, if possible to an area that anyone can have a very hard time disabling by unplugging it out. If you have outlets that are too high, that should work. And for the wireless switch, 
Keep it on your bedside table or anywhere in your bedroom since this will act as your arm or disarm button. Now as far as setup, everything will be installed to the Akara Home app. Even though these devices can be added to the Mi Home app, I found that the Mi Home app is kind of buggy and slow. So you're good with just using the Akara Home app. First add the hub, in our case the Siren which is the hub as well, where all sensors can connect to. If you're using a different system, most likely there is one that acts the same. Just do a little research on which one you need. Now download the app which is available on both iOS and Android and create an account. Once you're on the homepage, tap the plus sign on the upper right corner. Then select Hub M1S. For the next set of instructions, watch the video I made about the hub if you want an in-depth step-by-step guide. But basically, you just need to follow the on-screen instruction. That applies to the rest of other devices. Once added, the hub will show on the home page. Then to add the sensors, do the same thing. Tap the plus sign on the upper right corner. Then to pair it, press and hold the only button on each of the sensors. Then the same, follow the on-screen instruction. Once devices are added to the Akara Home app, time to set up the automation. From the home screen, tap Alarm System. You will be greeted with four different alert modes. 24-7, Home, Away, and Night Mode. Which are all customizable, by the way. For the sake of simplicity, let's select Night Guard. If this is your first time setting up the alert system you selected, you have this gear icon at the bottom. Now to adjust our alarm system, tap Edit. And again, we'll select Night Guard. Now, exit delays allow you to step outside once you activated the alarm without tripping your own security system. You can choose from 5 to 60 seconds. We will not enable that for now. Then under trigger device, this should be the sensors that will trigger your alarm system, like your contact sensors and motion sensors. Mine, I included the vibration sensor for additional security. If you have two or more trigger devices, make sure that you set it to any condition is met. That means any of these sensors can trigger the alarm. Now alarm action is basically what will happen if the sensor were tripped. In my case, I selected send me a notification on my phone and sounding the alarm. If you have 9 options to choose from as far as your siren, you can set the volume as well. Now I leave arm and disarm automatically untouched. But if you want to enable or disable your alarm by selecting a timer using an accessory which is your smart devices or automation, if you created a scene from the app that is perfect to pair it to your alarm system like goodnight scene where your lights will be turned off and at the same time it will arm your security system. Now as far as me enabling and disabling my system, I'll use the Akara wireless switch and the Xiaomi Mi switch. Both works the same way, so why not, right? I selected double click to arm and disarm the system. Now let's test them. I'll enable the alarm system using the wireless switch. Then if an intruder comes, the siren will start playing. You can disable it through the app or using the switch as well. If you want to take your home security to the next level, Adding light switches or bulb can be a good option. When let's say the alarm is stripped, the lights will automatically turn on. If the alarm sound from the M1S hub is not enough, hopefully the lights being switched on deters any possible intruders. Light switches are perfect for indoor use like your living room or kitchen. And the bulbs are for outdoor use like patios or garage lights. And yeah, there you go. That's how you can build your very own security system from scratch without paying a professional monitoring company to do it for you. It's really cost effective and easy to start with. Again, your home or family safety is our top priority. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about the system. Is this something you will try on your next project or it's not really worth it? Again, all devices mentioned in this video are linked in the description below. And again, thanks to Akara for sending all these devices for us to test them out.
If you learned something from this video, give it a like. And to see more smart home related content, consider subscribing. This is Art again from Futex Later. Thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video.